PK52, the Saturday morning meeting. Well, I want to spend a few minutes and just kind of talk about some stuff that maybe we've talked about a little bit before, but the market's about to make a change. So if you're looking online right now and you're looking at the internet and you're looking at advertising locally, some of the domestic manufacturers are starting to discount cars. I've got some import manufacturers also doing 1,000, 1,500. Some Toyota dealerships are starting to discount below MSRP. So the market is going to make this shift. There's nothing we can do about it. So we need to look at what's happened to create this and then where is it going and try to figure out if there's something that we can do about it or be prepared for it. So I did this chart about a year ago just tracking you know, what's gone on in the market over the last few years. So if you look over here on the new car side, which is on the other side of the chart here, all OEMs, every new car manufactured and sold in America, um, was running right about 18 million new cars a year. And, you know, that's expected to go up because population grows. And so we were in a growth spurt. I mean, everything was good. Life was good. Money was good. And then all of a sudden, in 2020, we hit COVID. So we went from almost 18 million to almost 15 million. So in the year 2020, 3 million vehicles were not manufactured. Listen to what I'm saying. They weren't made. They, they, they didn't make them. They didn't come back and make them later. They just weren't made. So 3 million people would have bought new cars, but they didn't have the ability to do that because the cars weren't manufactured. Some plants showed uh, completely shut down, some slowed down. Then the next year, it didn't get any better, and we still lost about another 3 million. So we were under 15 million again. So those two years, we lost 6 million, and people kept telling me how good we were going to rebound in 2022. Gang, we didn't go to almost 15 million. We went to less than 14 million. So in 2022, from 18 million to under 14 million, we lost 4 million car sales. So in those three years, 20, 21, and 22, 10 million cars were not made. Now, um, I hear from all the experts out there and some of the non-experts that think they're experts is that the used car uh, business is going to adjust itself. And I said, well, maybe it's going to do some adjustment. But there's 10 million cars that aren't coming back. If you look at the last year, we only sold 36 million used cars. Um, take 10 million that weren't made out of that. That's a third of the cars. How is the used car market ever going to adjust if we didn't make the cars? And if we didn't make the cars, they're not going to be used or pre-owned or certified cars. So we slacked it a little bit. Uh, 38 million is where we were with uh, used cars. So 18 versus 38 on the used car side. And then we went down and we got 2020 and we hit, we hit 39 million. So I uh, picked up a million. So lost three, picked up one. So the used car market helped a little bit. And then the next year we picked up two. So two lost one. And then the next year, look at this. We went from 40 million, uh, 41 million down to a little over 36. So that's a $5 million drop in people that bought used cars last year. And, and it doesn't take somebody that's brilliant to figure this out. The customers finally figured out cars were expensive, and then the interest rates went up. And they just went, you know what? Wait a minute. Normally, I trade cars every three to five years. You know, So leasing every three years, three years, three years. Now people are buying their car out from under their lease. They'd be stupid not to if they had four or five grand worth of equity, but I will promise you, that is a leasing customer. They do not want this older car. They want a new car. So if you'll follow those people six months to nine months, you'll probably get that car back because they'll eventually trade. They've already netted the, the, the value up by getting their equity. So follow that customer, get that forerunner Tacoma back. Now let's look again. So I'm over here and I'm still looking at this and we have this big drop over here. More people are waiting now than ever before. People will stay in their vehicles a little bit longer until they figure out what the market's doing. Something's going to open the gate. I don't, know, I don't know what it is. And anybody that tells you they know what it is, they don't either. Are the domestics going to go gigantic rebates? Because they've done that before. We've done big rebates and incentives before. The government's come in and done a program called Cash for Clunkers. You know, So they moved all the used cars out of the way so new car sales would go up. Could the government get involved if the domestics get in a struggle? I mean, all of these things are on the table. And so I don't know what's going to open the gate. All I know is, is the gate will be open. And so being able to get heavily into the used car business right now for anybody is important. As a consumer, as a buyer, 
to find a good value on a used car right now is going to be a giant benefit because, again, we're going to be 10 million short in the market when that cycle comes back up in two to three years. Let me do this real quick because there's a lot of buzz out there about electric cars. So there's 289 million registered cars on the road. So let's talk 289 million. So we already know how many new cars we're selling a year, 14 million. So 289 divided by 14. So how many decades does it take till everybody's in an electric car? And do the electric cars last that long? Toyota's just announced that they've got a new battery situation that they're going to drop on the American public that'll get 900 miles on a full charge. Okay, so I just got through paying $125,000 for an electric car. I didn't, but let's say I did. And uh, it gets about 289 miles on a charge. And Toyota comes out with a battery that gets 900 miles. Is my car still worth 125000 Or is it worth nothing? And then once the 900-mile battery comes out, what's next? So the technology in the electrified cars, not going to be static. It's always going to get better. And maybe someday we'll be 100% electrified. And we'll just be powering the electricity from coal-burning plants so we can have our electric cars, which is fine. But I got to be honest with you, um, right now, we don't have the production capability to put everybody in a car that's electrified. And I don't think most Americans have $125,000 or you know $80,000 to buy an electrified car. So the cars that are really going to matter are the older cars. So most new car dealerships sell pre-owned cars, and they sell cars that are current year, one, two, three, maybe four or five-year-old cars, maybe. But the older cars are sold out of driveways, customer to customer, or they're sold at independence. Carvana, CarMax, Edge used car lot down the road I talk about all the time. This right here for the Toyota people should be the most devastating thing you've ever seen. I'm going to show it to you and I'm going to close out this Saturday morning meeting. 15% of the used Toyotas that are sold every year are sold by Toyota dealers. 15%. 85% of used Toyotas are not sold at Toyota dealers. 85%. There are 6 million used Toyotas sold every single year. 6 million. 6 million used Toyotas sold every year. Toyota makes and sells about 1.8 million new. So each year we make and sell 1.8 million, but 6 million used are sold. 900,000 of those are sold at Toyota dealers. 5 million, 100,000 Toyotas are not sold at dealerships. Gang, we're not even selling a million Toyotas out of our 1,238 Toyota dealers. But the other places, and it's Ford. Ford selling Toyotas, Chevrolet selling Toyotas, Hyundai selling Toyotas, Carvana selling Toyotas, CarMax selling Toyotas. Toyota's the number one brand pre-owned in America right now. It is hot, and the crazy thing about it is, is our Toyotas are being sold other places. 5,100,000 Toyotas were sold not at Toyota dealership. So it's now time to expand our inventory. Most dealers don't have six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 year old Toyotas. Those Toyotas are amazing. I've got a 2013 FJ. That's my car. You probably can do math. That's a 10 year old car with 140,000 miles on it. I love it. You couldn't buy it from me. It is dependable. It is awesome. And it's worth money. My wife drives a 2008 V6 hybrid Highlander with 165,000 miles on it. You couldn't make her trade out of that car. She'll sell that car when she's ready and she'll buy another Toyota with over 100,000 miles. The money at Toyota is depending on the long-term reliability of our cars. We've got to start selling older units. PK52, the Saturday morning meeting.